Yo, and today is an interesting video because it's actually a fucking story time. Now, this story time actually took place last night as of this recording. Shit made me so mad and relieved at the same time. Because when I say, bro, I was mad as shit. It was happy as hell afterwards. I mean, like, bro, I, n I never thought, I never thought God would be looking down. I was like, bro, he's right there. I got, bro, I never thought this nigga would be looking down on me. Like, bro, I got your back. Like, I, this shit made me so mad. This is a story on how I had a 1v1 with a baby ass wolf spider that's just been camping in my, in my, in, on my ceiling somewhere and almost got away. Nigga, I almost not had it. I almost stayed up all night. I almost stayed up for a full 24 hours and then some. His ass went to the gulag and he got paired up by a hacker and he, he got packed up. Like and subscribe. I'm still in the process of getting the Xbox controller. You know, poor nigga activity. I'm, I'm thinking of doing another <laughs> Descendant video. It's not, it's, it's going to be about what I'm doing right now because, yeah, and then plus the whole invasion shit. Not necessarily talking about the whole issue about it that's currently going on because i personally don't like it either i want to do that for one video and then hopefully hopefully i can get a new controller soon and then i can be able to do most one of redux again but yeah anyway back to the whole point of this video so this entire summer right i've just been dealing with nothing but jumping spiders in my room and if y'all don't know what jumping spiders is jumping spiders are basically motherfuckers that for some reason as soon as they get in your house bro and they start duplicating for some reason it's an endless war bro nigga it's like world war two world war three nigga it's like having a future world war four i've been doing nothing but bodying fucking jumping spiders left right center like nigga if i have to sit here and pay rent expensive taxes to buy shit if i have to deal with all this y'all motherfuckers get to be in my room rent free then rent free that ain't happening no more bro like i swear to like i'm at this point i'm just gonna straight splatter motherfuckers if i see them I'm, I'm i'm done with it now i feel like it's just this house because it's out of nowhere these motherfuckers is coming out the woodwork like they fucking doc expansion packs like it's it's so fucking ridiculous so last night right i'm over here playing the game and i'm, I'm kind of done for the night so I'm, I'm thinking about going to sleep right it's 12 something at night as of this happening right and i decided to get off the game and shit and you know try to you know, decide to go to sleep and when i stand up i look to the top right of my fucking ceiling because there's a fucking you know you know them little fucking corners and shit that I don't know how to describe them. They're like corners that be on like the walls and shit where it's like a gap. I got that shit in my room. There's nothing but black spaces throughout the entire wall of my room. I had my light on and shit. I look and I see that there is something that's chilling right there in the corner. And I'm like, the fuck? And I mean like it was literally in the gap itself. I'm just sitting there like, eh, it ain't nothing. I ain't got to worry about it. Not that long after that. The motherfucker starts moving. And when and when I say that motherfucker start moving, I mean like that motherfucker came from out the gap and was roaming on my ceiling. And I swear to God, I had to take a good ass look because I'm like, wait a minute. I don't, that behavior does not look like a jumping spider. You know what I'm saying? Jumping spiders, them bitches move in increments. D, this motherfucker right here? No, this motherfucker was straight up moving. That man was consistent with his movement. And I sat there, I had to take a good look at him, bro. I'm like, Fuck, like, I, that's not, that, I don't think that's a jumping spider, bro, because last time I checked, jumping spiders do not move at a steady pace and at a straight line. These motherfuckers move different. Like, these motherfuckers move like they dodging the fucking ops. I, I get close enough to where I'm looking overall and seeing, like, the, the whole, the whole body design, and I swear to God, bro, I came up with the conclusion that this is worse than a fucking jumping spider. This motherfucker was probably a baby wolf spider. <laughs> And if y'all don't know what a fucking wolf spider is, it's summer outside, right? You know, it's, it's still hot outside. You know, you motherfuckers still roaming the streets. You, if you got bushes or your friend got bushes, all you got to do is go to them bushes and just see if you got a fucking sniper's nest just chilling right there. And you see a brown piece of shit or a black piece of shit just, you know, chilling right there. And then you hit the bushes and you see that motherfucker just instant transmission out of the fucking sight. Yeah, that's what a wolf spider is. And, um... I, I hear horror stories. I hear horror stories about fucking wolf spiders, bro. If they have babies, right? If a female wolf spider has a baby, right? Because they carry them on their back. If you kill one, if it's in your house and it has babies. If you kill one while it has babies on its back. At that point, bro, just 
burn the house down like bro arson is the only way you're going to have an easy life i swear grab everything you can and arson bro i seen this motherfucker and i swear to god bro my mind locked into just straight up wanted to mark his ass but the worst but the thing is i'm thinking okay maybe i could catch him in a bottle and just suffocate the bitch mistake number one already bro like why the fuck did i even think catching him in a fucking bottle of all things was a logical thing to do for something this dangerous in my room like bro if this motherfucker actually got away it was in my room rent free nigga i would have been up all night and i swear to god i would have made sure that if i didn't get an apartment the next day i was not going to sleep it would have been time for me to go to work one day knowing that this motherfucker's still in my room somewhere and i would have went to that motherfucker tweaking like i my ass when i have no sleep nigga my ass will be scratching like i got fit addiction i swear i would have been out of it then i saw that motherfucker i'm like bro he gotta go <laughs> like that motherfucker he gotta die like there is no there is no catching him and putting him outside no there is no second chance with this motherfucker you gotta kill him today like i said my dumb ass grabbed a fucking bottle to catch his ass in i got a crack crates outside my room so i grabbed him on the stand on and when i say i actually succeeded a little bit it wasn't good enough because that motherfucker moved as soon, as soon as I got close enough to catch his ass and it made his ass fall. He fell. His black ass fell off the ceiling, bro. And when I say I was not playing these games, bro, I have an entire desk full of bullshit just chilling, right? I mean, it doesn't look like that now. It's still bullshit, but it was it was bullshit when it was well, before I moved it. So I had to take all that shit, bro. I swear to God, I took everything off the table. I had shit all over my floor. So I can make sure I catch this nigga because if he, bro, if he escapes, if he escapes the gulag, bro, well, no, if he escapes this 1v1, nigga automatically won, bro. I'm not, I'm not going to sleep. I'm not going to sleep till I know that motherfucker's dead. Bro, I move every single drawer every single like thing because i got i got cases for beyblades too in my fucking room too so i move that i move all that i move my stadiums i move so i move everything until that table was bald bro and then i moved the shit under the table and i moved my 360 which i know this had a fucking i guess default character ass spider just chilling in it i tried to catch it and that motherfucker went right back into the xbox and uh just no, that motherfucker's in there till this day, but he ain't no threat, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gotta worry about him trying to fold me while I'm sleep. I let him, I let him live. I'm like, all right, well, I'll catch your ass one day, you know. You gonna, you gonna, you gonna come out to explore eventually, and I'm gonna catch your ass lacking, and you know, soon you're gonna be on your shirt. You know, you're gonna be put on a shirt. Yeah, you know, I move this one thing that has all my shit, and I move that. I moved this small ass little like roller thing. I gotta make sure that motherfucker ain't just camping under there because I have carpet, bro, and not only any carpet. I have burgundy carpet. I have dark ass, red ass carpet. If any black shit falls on there, like if anything black it moves and it falls on that carpet. If it falls, dog, like I said, this is a wolf spider, bro. And if they ain't the size you can see them at, if they're a baby, it's you're you're, you're cooked until you see them. It is wrapped until you see the motherfucker moving because you is not gonna be able to see shit on carpet this dark. And just carpet, period, bro. And when I say I moved that shit, and I did something to make him, to make him move, to make him run like he go, like he doing the dash. And when I say this nigga, I seen his ass move by the slightest bit, and he just started sprinting, bro. When I seen that, I'm like, you're cooked, man. And I, I, I don't know, I don't know why I still try to use the bottle. But I tried to use the bottle. I actually caught him a good couple times. But I kept assuming that, oh, maybe he's inside the bottle. I finally catch his ass in the bottle again. So he can't move. And this time I'm like, bro, I need to grab something to just straight murk his ass with. And yes, I murked this nigga on my carpet, bro. Here's this little band-aid shit that was on the floor. Like the little, the winter car that you take off so you could put the baby so you could put the band-aid on. I saw that. I'm like bet <laughs> and i grabbed that move i grabbed it and when i moved that bottle i made sure i remember where that bottle was at like i said that motherfucker was stuck he was not moving and i and i know the game is gonna play said as, as long as he does not move at all he ain't he, he he's not gonna get caught that was a bad mistake on his part because as soon as he did that bro and i had that little band-aid shit ready to just murk his ass i swear to god bro i made sure it was my sole purpose to take his lights out bro i straight up took that shit 
and I wiped it against the carpet so hard that this nigga actually got fucking road this nigga got folded he got put on us i mean it this nigga legitimately folded <laughs> i folded this nigga with a fucking band-aid cover i folded this nigga with this shit and this is how bad it was because i did it a good couple times to make sure his ass didn't have second chance at life like this ain't call of duty bro you ain't about to pull that weak shit on me like you not about to do that you gonna die today it don't matter so yeah after i'm done i'm seeing this nigga just rolled the fuck up on that band-aid cover with his fucking remains just all over it i'm like yep yep just like that you cook like i'm i was happy that i caught his ass because i swear like i said man i was not going to sleep at all until i saw his ass once again and then even if it went into the next night i wasn't i was not going to sleep until that nigga was dead but after all that i was like all right happy as hell you know what i'm saying that nigga dead he thought he could get away put his ass on a shirt honestly i really couldn't sleep a little bit after that because i was just relieved on the fact that <laughs> i caught his ass i had a little bit of an adrenaline going on when i when that shit was happening because i dead ass was just not about to go to sleep at all until i knew he was dead <laughs> so yeah i get back on the game for a little bit longer check my descendant shit before i go to sleep you know what i'm saying and everything was all dead but yeah uh, that was how i had a 1v1 with a fucking baby wolf spider potentially a baby wolf spider that's about it and I'll catch y'all in the next video.